Hello there and welcome to my Mesco 112 Authentic Commander Rogers and my two KO exclusives uh, Captain America figures. Right off the bat, if you can guess it, and if you're looking correctly, if you think the right one is the bootleg, you are wrong. If you think the left one is a bootleg, which is right here, you are correct. Um, first and foremost, um, I bought, I just purchased this figure on, um, like Saturday or Thursday of last week, and I got it Monday, and, you know, so far, the person I bought it from, I bought it for like a hundred bucks. So far, it's clean, it's nice, I like it. Comparing this, I paid 30 bucks for it. Um, I will be covering the full detail and depth of everything, um, right now. Uh, so far, nothing's broken on it, but we'll just take a, a look at it. Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> so, what you get in this uh, figure, um, if you can see, I don't care if this thing falls, but if you can see, just looking at it, this right here, this clip, this clip goes to the shield. So you drop the Captain America. Look, literally, it goes to the shield. So you have to, I have to clip it in each time, which is super frustrating. I have to clip it in. And once you do, it, it, it fits, sort of. But you can just see how much I'm struggling to get it inside well that's the best I can do but you barely tap it pops off so good thing this uh, shield and the real world this is that light or that plasma shield so it can just stick on a magnet you don't even have to hold it but you do any crazy poses or any type of articulation like you can put his arm up do double bend but you want to do something where you're pushing your finger up and knocks off super easily. Um, right off the bat, you can just see that the belt, it's not even fully there. Because, you know what, they said, fuck it, let's just sew it on. Um, as you can see, you can see the sew marks right here. Uh, mine is missing the, the rubber piece that covers the back for... The real Steve Rogers. On the stars, you can see it is how smudgy and disgusting it looks compared to the authentic real one. And this is a KO one. And if you can see it, look at that SM and height, height comparison. So this one looks like it's Play Doh hair. Like literally, they got Play Doh hair. Oh, I'll get to that squeaking in just a minute. So you got that Play Doh hair. Compared to the real one, he doesn't have it. He has the pain apps. He has the white eyes. I mean, he has everything. The white indie eyes. He has the blue eyes. I mean, he got everything. Um, but the only problem is, over time, the dye does bleed onto the plastic. But I'm not complaining. Because now since I have... Because uh, I was thinking about displaying my real one, my authentic Steve Rogers... Uh, with the sleeves up but now since i have the ko one i'm able to do that freely i mean if you can just look how clean the paint apps not paint apps the, the skin tone is it, it matches the face for the most part it, it color it blends in with the neck it just looks really well done now if you're gonna get this uh c rogers um I recommend it but you know mine has a flaw with the shield yours might not even have it so you don't have to worry about that but the shield does stick for the most part it does look nice on display it can fit on a display stand uh kind of okay-ish I've only got it all the way down but it, it works uh like it, it fits on her you know it, it can stand on her 
but on the shelf from a far distance it won't look so noticeably like noticeable but you will notice it if you come close because you'll tell by the logo comparing to how skinny and slim this one looks and just comparing it to that KO one you can just obviously see the horrendous amount of detail I mean it has the paint apps on the boots paint apps on the hands I'm not going to show too much for, for this one but he has paint apps on the harness that holds the shield and yes he has it on the the back right here uh, most people say that they're not going to leave theirs displayed on the shield I uh, I completely understand where you're coming from I did some back research on it and now since I have done it now since I own three Captain Americas um, what I plan on doing is uh, leaving this one displayed with the displayed on my shelf with the sleeves rolled up on my Marvel Legends collection without the shield and then this one uh, with the authentic or with the metal shield I'll put it on my real one so you'll see what I'm talking about but anyways I'm going to put my figures to the side I'm going to put them to the side and we are going to unbox or I need to show you the packaging, but this is a real one. As you can see, it's kind of dirt dirty because I bought it used from someone. But you can see on this side the PX Freebies exclusive sticker. Look how like detailed that looks. How HD that is the quality. Comparing it to this one, just like fuzzed out a little bit. You can see it. And the back it shows the same thing as the authentic one. As you can see, this one kind of darker, this one's lighter. So you will, you will obviously tell which is chaos and which is real, especially when you have them in hand. But anyways, I'm going to put these packaging to the side. And we are going to open up and unbox the Mesco KO 112 Captain America. Um, first and foremost, you take off the sleeve. Once you take off the sleeve, oh, I didn't show you this, but... This is the front, this is the back, it's upside down, as you can tell it's a KO one, lay that to the side, and here we have it, Mesco KO 112 Collective, Captain America inside a box, what that's a glorious uh, fine print of the, the shield or the American flag that he uses mostly throughout his own uh, life. But uh, without any further ado, let's open up, let's see what this Mesco 112 Captain America really is. So you basically lift up the sleeve right here, you grab underneath all the plastic parts, and you slide out. You don't need a box anymore. Put it to the side. Before I take Captain America out, you check the back side. As you can see, because of the harness right there, the harness, the display stand, etc., etc. So everything just falls out because it's a KO Captain America. It's not the authentic one. As you can see, just the packaging. It's the same thing, it's like a like a standard regular uh non mesco or non KO Mesco Captain America or any other figure you own that's Mesco. Uh as you can see just the hands are just falling out from me just just showing it what it looks like on inside of packaging when you first unbox it. Um so um I took out the tape as you can see the tape right here and especially for the hands I took the tape off. Um the they use tape to hold down the hands and the grenades so you won't lose them or when it comes from wherever they ship it from. But uh, yeah, you can just like, you can do a lot with this, I guess, the box. But as you can see, just how everything, how easily it is to lose certain things. Uh, but here is Captain America. I'll take him out real quick. Yes, that is literally how it is with the KO Mesco Captain America figure. Um, I'm 
just like that. You take this to the side, you take this, you take that to the side. You can throw it away or keep it, it's up to you. And the display stand, let's not forget the display stand. And Cap Captain America himself, let's check it out. Uh, let me just say right off the bat, this figure is garbage, literally. Um, the display stand, mine has a yellow tint. I think everyone else's. And it's super loose. Like, look at that. That's super loose. Comparing to an authentic Mezco display stand, there's no way in hell you'd be able to do that. But um, I'm not going to fiddle around with the display stand. I can't even pop out the very own pegs inside, inside there. Um, it's just ridiculous. There's no point even trying that. But, uh, as you can see, this is the K.O. Mesco Captain America figure. And you can just see it has, it has the articulation it needs. My print came out really clean, like excellent, con excellent condition. The problem is, as soon as I turn it around, you see that right there? I have, uh, a really fucked up stitching on the neck. But, uh, you can just see... Uh, how bad this figure is, um, mine, his own knee joints, uh, as soon as I open them, they, they just pop off, so, over time of you turning it, as you can see, just pop these, they just pop off, look at that, they just pop off, like, like it's nothing, especially for this one, the left arm, pops up super easily, the right arm, I don't have to put any like pressure or force. They pop off super easily. Um, for thirty bucks, it's worth it for the look of it, but it's not worth it for the quantity of your figure. You do not get quality in this piece at all. Um, if you're a collector and you're not going to open it, if you have one of these and you're thinking about opening it, um, you know, choice is yours. Open it. Or if you're just a kid looking to buy one because you want one because it look cool. It's up to you to buy one. Um, do I recommend it for other people? Yeah, I do. But I don't recommend it for everyone to... I don't recommend it for someone who's trying to get it with... Uh, with um, Just to own it, you know? Like, I don't recommend it for someone who just wants to just um, buy the figure instead of the real one. If you can buy this to buy the real one compared to this one, or if you had a real one and you're watching this one or whatever, or you're just watching because you're bored. Um right now I'm sweaty, it's hot, and I'm taking forever reviewing figures. Um but you can see the the detail into the pants or the boots. Pants look nice, the butt, the canteen or the pouch falls off a lot. I prefer the canteen more because that's that's my way for Captain America. Um, you can store his own little grenades on him, just like that. The grenades. So you can just put the grenades on the back. You put the arms back. Oh, my left one, the left arm is super loose, by the way. But uh, yeah, you can bring it up, do that. And there you have it. Here's Captain America. Looking kind of badass, you know. And you get the, the real shield, which he still has before he gave it to Bucky. You can put it on the back. And then you turn him around. He does hide the grenades fairly well. He does hide the neck. It's not noticeable, but when you display him out without that piece, or if you have him turned around for some reason on your display stand, Looks very noticeable. Everything falls off. I mean, nothing stays on this figure. Um, for articulation, it's on a ball joint. It's gonna look up, down. You can do all that range of motion. Look at that. You can do all that r r range of motion down to popping up, on or off. Uh, arms hinge up all the way down. They can rotate. He does have a bicep swivel or butterfly. He does have a bicep swivel. Double joint knees, blood rotation. 
ball joint in the hand, it goes up and down, all that other stuff. Uh, he has an ab crunch this far, he has an ab crunch that far. He does have a little butt joint right there, ab crunch, or waist joint. So you can bend forward and back. You can uh, do the splits literally all the way. I mean, what other figure would, would pants like that is going to do that? Not very many. Double joint knees, it's boot rotation. Uh, go up and down, you know, ball joint in, in the feet. But, um, that's the head sculpt for you. That's the, this is a med, this is a, the, the knockoff one. This is bootleg right here. And you're getting this quality for 30 bucks, but not quantity. You're not getting, you're not getting, you're not getting the, I mean, the right quality for this figure. Um, but overall, I mean, I like it. It's cool. It's whatever, though. But, um, here's the Steve Rogers head that comes with, as you can see. Just looks all janky and messed up, it looks. Uh, comparing it to... Yeah, comparing it to this one, it's not that bad. Um, let me go into his articulation. His head, you can look up this high, this down, forward. He has uh, neck joints. I mean, these are, I'm, I'm overextending the joints. You can do all this motion for the bootleg one. And look, check this out. The ball joints in the arms can go all the way up. Literally all the way up. All the way down. It does have a butterfly joint. Rotates forward and back, full 360 actually. But if you keep uh, pushing it like that, you'll rip the, the fabric, knowing it's a, it's a met, it's an uh, knockoff mezco. Does have a ball joint, uh, or bicep swivel, double joint elbows, especially with the sleeves rolled up. And just up and down, rotate. <clears throat> As you can see, bends in this far with upper abs, and then lower lower joint does have that rotation back and forth this is a widest stance you'll get in for the splits but that is that is exceptionally good that is really good um the legs mine i don't know you can just hear the forcing in that joint but this one squeaks um that's how it Side rotation, double joint, joint, double joint knees, and this one my squeaks a lot, so that's really annoying. Uh, boot rotation, uh, feet go up and down like that, ball joints. But um, yes, these are the two Mazco knockoff uh, bootleg figures, and time to get the real C Rogers, the the authentic one right here. So you can just see, uh, and. Let me get some more figures and do a high comparison real quick. Hold on. Oh wow, screw it. Um, for my size comparison, I want to show you guys is the World War II cap. Damn, that's like really dark. I'm sorry. Hold on. As you can see, World War II cap. These are the these are the Mesco knockoff versions. The Mesco cap or knockoff one. Next to my my own very own favorite uh, Captain America figures, so I want to put them in, in, in the back so you can see how how tall they are next to each other. So face off cap, World War Two cap. Damn it! 